Hi everyone, I'm Walt Gray and here's what's happening. The family of a Tracy man killed over the weekend now offering a $20,000 reward for information leading to the killer. Parmajit Singh was out for his evening walk in a park and someone stabbed him to death. Police have released new video showing the minutes leading up to his death. Former King Star DeMarcus Cousins faces a misdemeanor domestic violence charge and police in Mobile, Alabama have now issued a warrant for his arrest. TMZ released a phone recording over the weekend where Cousins allegedly threatens to shoot his ex-girlfriend, who is the mother of his seven-year-old son. Dozens of bills will be heard at the state capitol today to determine what moves forward for final votes. The legislature has a couple of weeks left to get bills to the governor for him to sign. Among the bills on the table today is one that puts restrictions on vaccine exemptions. Been very controversial. The Sacramento Police Department will dedicate its academy gym today to the fallen officer Tara O'Sullivan, who was shot and killed this summer as she responded to a domestic disturbance call. She was known for her record-breaking plank and her dedication to physical fitness. Now for a check of your weather forecast. Busy weekend, Rob's in. You know, uh, we, we've had our moments this week. We've had our highs, we've had our lows, and now we're gonna just kind of level out for a normal forecast. And what that means is when you wake up, 50s and 60s, afternoon highs in the low 90s, and that's the way we're gonna do it all weekend long. Now, uh, we do see a couple little side issues. For example, I think along the coast, if your destination is the Bay Area, you might have some coastal clouds and maybe a little bit of fog, but that's really about it. It's all about the nice temperatures, or I should say nicer than where we were this week, all the way through Labor Day weekend. So we're gonna top out somewhere in the low to mid 90s all weekend long. In many cases, this is just a little bit above average, but what you don't see on here is triple digit heat. And what you also may be looking to, uh, forward to is once we get into next week, I see a nice little cool down into the 80s where we should stay there for a while.